All right, we'll start with Sean Cunningham. Hey, Ty. Um, I know it wasn't the result you were looking for. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, actually, because it looked like after the game, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, they both kind of sought you out after and wasn't sure if you wanted to share the conversation, but maybe what the overall kind of message they were giving to you after the game. Uh, no, I ain't going to really speak on that. You know, just two guys that, you know, uh, are at the top of this league, two of the best players. Um, today's game, two of the best players to ever play this game, uh, to, to approach me and, and have that conversation with me. And uh, obviously they see some, right, because they don't, they don't talk to just any – to everybody. So it uh, means a lot to me. Um, you know, Kyrie has been one of my favorite players, uh, you know, gr growing up. Um, you know, I, I got all his shoes. I, I ain't going to wear them against him, but I got them all. So, um, you know, those are just, you know, kind of two guys that I've looked up to my whole life. So – to, to get that, uh, I can't really, you know, describe it in words, but, um, you know, just keep giving me confidence that, you know, I really belong. And, um, you know, like I said, I can't really, you know, put it into words. All right, Tony Harvey. Yeah, Tyree, um, just wanted to ask you the question, you know, uh, I really had you know, a great game. Is it just, you know, the fact that you was playing in the five boroughs that you want to show them what they were missing or, Hey, you just going about your daily routine. No, I've been on NBA top shot all day. So, uh, just, just been on there, uh, getting cars and stuff. Uh, this is the first time I've, I've been on there. So it's been on top shot buying cards and stuff. So I, I've just been chill all day. Um, and just, just came, came here from there. So, uh, really just been chilling these last two days and, um, learning a lot about it, just kind of nerding out in my hotel room. So uh, it's, it's been it's been fun. Marshall Harris. Hey, Tyrese, I know team-wise not the results that you're won, Levy, but that's the third time you've hit the, the career high of 23 points, uh, second game in a row. Um, how are you feeling? Do you feel locked in? Do you feel like you're, you're where you thought you would be at this point of the season coming up on the all-star break? And uh, can you talk a little bit more about the top shot thing? Because I know a lot of people are excited about that. But uh, to tell me as a player, what, what's got you excited about that? Uh, yeah, I, I feel good of, of where I'm at. I know there's a whole nother level um, to, to my game and the level that, you know, nobody's ever, ever, ever seen. And I know that, you know, I got to keep working. Um, you know, through through the years, because you know, I think there's another level for me to tap into. Um, you know, I don't I don't set a ceiling on my game ever, so um, I feel like I can really do some something special here as long as I just keep working and you know give the glory to God. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. Um, and then to answer the second part of your question about Top Shot, uh, I could sit here and talk to you guys about hours. I've been trying to explain to my teammates, you know, why why they should get into it, um, but. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know the easiest way to, I, maybe, uh, you know, I, I'm, in, I'm doing clubhouse tomorrow, so maybe I'll pull up and we'll talk about it. Um, I'm, I'm a new correspondent on the old man, the three. So we talk about that there. Um, I'm just talking about it in any way I can, uh, promote through social media. Um, you know, I think the two things that everybody, there's two things that a lot of us love and that's money and basketball. So, uh, put them together and, you know, good things can happen. So, uh, I don't know how to really explain it. I, I think you got to go to YouTube, get a real tutorial, a real explanation. But, um, you know, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll hop on a, a YouTube video or something and explain it the best way I can. Jason Jones. What's going on, Tyrese? What's up? What's up? Not much, man. It, it seemed like with the whole group, for the most part, back tonight, there were stretches where you guys looked like that team from two, three weeks ago. Do you feel like it'll take a long time for you guys to find that rhythm again? Or did it feel like that tonight was a good start to getting that, to being close to getting back to where you were? You know, to be as, as, as honest as possible, I think it's ridiculous that we're not that right now. You know, we've lost, I don't know how, how six, seven, eight in a row now. So, you know, we got to get back, we got to get back to it. Like, it, or, or, um, you know, be at the bottom of the West, be at the bottom of the league. And so, um, you know, I, I, I just hope that, you know, we care enough to understand that things can go bad really fast. Um, it's early in the year, obviously, you know, we're still only a couple of games behind being, being able to be in the play in and, you know, another second half of the year. But still, I, I think it's ridiculous that, um, that, that there were stretches, like it's got to be all the time. Otherwise, like I said, we can be at the bottom of the West, um, 
and, and be complacent with that. But I know I'm not, and I know a lot of a lot of guys in the locker room aren't. So, um, you know, we just got to keep working, keep coming together. Um, you know, I think this road trip, we've been together a lot. So um, just keep coming together uh, and working and, and, and getting towards uh, getting back to where we were and getting, being able to compete for the playoffs. Jason Anderson. Hey, Ty, I've been on uh, Top Shot 2 buying cards. First question, am I going to be able to, to retire early? Oh, for sure. If you get in, if you get in the right, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put y'all on a card right now. There's a Buddy Healed Hollow Series One, a reverse dunk over Mitch Robinson. Saw it. There's only 50 in existence, and you will never see Buddy do that again. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, get that while you can. I'll just, I'll let you know. I'll just let you know. Invest early. We're still at the ground level. We can take this to the moon. So I like uh, it. Yeah, yeah. You, you if you if you if you if you do it right, if you do it right. Okay. Um, and on a, uh, another note, um, you know, as the losses have mounted a little bit, I, I wonder what is um, what is the demeanor of the coaching staff you're seeing? How are they kind of coaching you guys through this? Um, does it are there signs of trouble there, or do they seem to be, um, you know, steady as they've been earlier in the year? No, I'm not trouble. I mean. Uh, they're frustrated, right? I mean, they're invested in this just like us, so they're frustrated with losing. Um, you know, at the end of the day, all, all of us here get paid a lot of money to play basketball, um, and we want to, you know, win games. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. So everybody in this organization is frustrated, and if they're not, then you know, it'll 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 get handled. But I, but all, all of us that you know I've I've encountered are uh, are frustrated with this, and uh, we just we got to get back to our winning ways because. You know, this isn't what we want to do. Uh, we want to get – we all want to – like I said all year, we want to get Sacramento back to the playoffs. We want to get Sacramento um, back to where they belong. So, um, we just got to – we got to – we just got to be better. I don't know how to put it anyway. We just – we just got to be better. James Ham. Yeah, Ty, while you're sitting there on the bench to start games, are you seeing something that, that allows you to come in and just be so impactful so quickly? I mean, tonight you scored, but – it was also that you got your teammates involved so quickly and really started to break up the game a little bit. Is that something you're seeing while sitting on the bench? Um, I'm just, you know, my confidence is growing by the day. I'm just got to understand what is needed by me. Um, and that's just to be who I am, you know, not don't be hesitant. You know, I'm here for a reason. Right. And, and coach trust puts me in early, obviously, because he trusts me. So um, I got to take advantage of that um, and just be who I am. You know, at the end of the day, I just got to be who I am. And I'm here <laughs> is that I'm here for a reason. Obviously, people have a lot of trust in me. So I got to have trust in myself and go out here and perform. So, um, you know, when I'm on the bench, I just kind of read what's needed. Constant conversations with Rico and, and B Jack and the whole staff, you know, Rex, all the guys. Just what do you guys need me to do? Um, you know, there's just di different ways that I, I could help tonight. Um, you know, whether that was scoring, passing, uh, you know, defending, wh whatever is needed, that's what I'm going to do. And my job off the bench is to bring energy and, and uh, kind of fill the void of what's needed on that night. So uh, I'm just going to continue to do that. A couple more. Sean Cunningham? Yeah, Ty, along those lines, I was just going to ask you is if, you know, when you're in the middle of a skid like this, do you end up putting more – pressure upon yourself to be more aggressive on any particular angle, like scoring or defense defense, or, you know, when you're hearing that from the coaching staff, do you pretty much follow their lead or do you put more pressure on yourself to try to do something differently? I mean, I, of course I listen to them, right. They know the tempo, but it's the same thing, same you know, idea. I feel like I'm a pretty wise, wise dude. So I, I could tell what's needed, you know, kind of, I can kind of get how the, how the game's flowing. And um, at the same time, you know, the last couple of games we've, We've been playing, you know, some of the best teams in the NBA. So, um, you know, I'm excited to play. Like, I want to get in, right? Like, I want to play against these guys that I've, I've been looking up to. You know, I was just at home, you know, in Wisconsin and have the chance to, you know, play against, you know, Kyrie and James and uh, and, and the whole Nets team. So, like, I'm I'm, I'm eager. I'm excited to, to play in that game. So, um, I'm just ready to go. Tony Harvey. All right, so I just want to ask uh, – when you guys are practicing, um, of course, you do look at film. Do do you run some type of drills, you know, uh, talk about the defense or, you know, what's going on? You play play it like it's the last five minutes of the game. Uh, what's, what's, you know, what's the rollout? What are you guys, you know, doing to address the uh, defensive situation where you're not playing games? 
I mean, you know, time is time is kind of against us. You know, you kind of, the, the 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 games are kind of you know so scrunched together. Um, you know, there's not a lot of a lot of time to to, to practice. Uh, but when we do, uh, it just depends on the day. You know, some days when guys are banged up, we'll get shots. But you know, when we do play, um, you know, we'll, we usually roll the ball out and, and, and get after it for you know four minute scrimmages or whatever that is, or set the score at a certain score and play that way. Um, but at the end of the day. They don't got anything to do with drills. Uh, it's just the effort that we put in and uh, the, the pride that we have to compete on a nightly basis. Uh, you know, our last names are on the back of our jersey. So we got to take pride in that first, you know, before before anything. So we just got to come together and we just we just got to be better. I thought we were I thought we were all right tonight. You know, I, I thought there were times where we competed well defensively. You know, we're playing two of the best isolation players, you know, in the history of the league. So. It's not going to be easy. Obviously, it's got to be done by all five. Uh, but do I think our defensive effort tonight was better than the last time we played in that? Of course I do. But is it where we need it to be to make the playoffs in the West? Uh, no, not at all. So we just know we got to be better. Uh, last one, Jason Anderson. Hey, Ty, a lot of people have uh, advocated for you to move into the starting lineup. Um, how do, do you have a, a feeling on that? What do you, what's your take on that discussion? Uh, I just I just play basketball. I don't control anything. So it uh, doesn't matter to me either way. You know, I'm just, I'm a part of this team. So I'm going to help, help any way I can, whether that's off the bench uh, and getting playing, you know, 40 playing or playing 25 or, you know, playing zero minutes. I don't, I don't care. I just, I just want to win. Um, that comes before anything. So, um, you know, I, I, I hope that I answer you guys that every every time you answer, ask me that for, you know, my whole career, I, I just I just want to win. So that's all that's all that really matters to me. All right. Thank you, Ty. Yep. Get that buddy healed. Hollow. I own number 10 of 50. So go get like thousands of dollars. Hey, hey looking hey. at it. Hey, put put some Bro. capital towards it. Put some <laughs> capital towards it. It's going to go up. I'm just telling hey, you, man. We're, we're journalists. We broke, yo. man. Oh, yo, yo, come together, come together. <laughs> you see that? Come together. We bought a LeBron today for two. You, you like to check? You like to check, and we'll do it. What? <laughs> the cheapest one is like seven, almost eight thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I know, but you, I, hey, you guys might think I'm crazy, but they, we're at the ground level of what this can be. I promise you. I'm, I I'm, love that you don't know. Journalists make though. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this all right. Like my, my my friends keep saying, like, yo, Reese, I don't got the I don't got the funds. I'm like, okay, just invest in, in anything. You can get a twenty dollar card. I'm not kidding. We're in the ground level of this. You know, it's gonna <laughs> all right. I, don't say don't 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 come up to me in a year or two and say, dang, you were right. I'm okay. All right. Y'all have a good night, man. I'll you see you. Fine, Tommy <laughs> and you, man. Let's make some money. <laughs>